Hello, fellow human beings. I am your host, Default Band Aid, and today we will be discussing the brand new update to The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And that update brings a brand new game mode called Survival Mode, which you can get to by going to your settings and activate by going to gameplay and then activating survival mode directly above your difficulty. Now, what is survival mode, you may ask, and how do I get it? Well, the latter is a much more important question, seeing how this add-on may not be free forever, and this limited time offer allows you to get it for free. So you'll notice this Creation Club's news. I'll let you guys read that horrible pun on your own. And we will go to the Creation Club. And normally, you have to use these credits that are purchasable through the PlayStation Store to get any of these add-ons. But this one, Survival Mode, is completely free for the time being. So if you're watching this video right now and you like Skyrim as much as I do, I highly suggest you get this add-on right now because it's currently free. And who knows, it might not be further down the road. So... Without further ado, I'm going to go right back to that account I was showing you guys earlier and explain to you what survival mode is. Now first, I would like to say that right now I'm a level 4 and I can't level up so I won't be able to show you guys this firsthand. But this new update overhauls the leveling system so that you can't just level in the midst of battle anymore. You can't just scroll up and then level up like that. You actually have to go and sleep in an owned bed such as in an inn or at your own house. So now every time you sleep, if you have the ability to level up, you'll be prompted with a level up screen. And that's where you'll get to level up. So no more holding on to your leveling and leveling up in the midst of battle, if I'm afraid, you need, if you activate survival mode. Yeah, now, the here. second thing I want to tell you yes, is that if you go to settings, like I said earlier, you can deactivate that at any point in time. You can just anytime you want and it'll turn it off or on depending on what you do now the second thing is you'll notice these red bars next to my stamina and health and if it was cold out and i wasn't in an inn right now you would notice that there was that next to my health bar as well so now there's actually a purpose in going to the inn and purchasing their overpriced food and what is that purpose? Well, it's to reduce your hunger, which is a totally new concept added to the game, which makes it so you have reduced stamina at times when you go without eating. And it levels in severity from peckish to famished is the highest difficult or the highest I've seen so far. And then you can become tired, and that has to do with your magicka, and that's as far as sleeping goes. So you also need to sleep now no to increase your max magicka to normal and also to have normal magicka regeneration. So no more going months on end without eating or sleeping because that just doesn't make sense. So what we'll do now is I will eat some food and show you that that red bar next to my health has decreased. Now, I haven't found a way to see exactly how much you need to eat in order to have zero hunger, but I am now satisfied, which removes that effect, and now I don't have any effects, positive or negative, but you'll notice if I eat a little bit more, I'll be well-fed, and I'll get the well-fed bonus, which makes my stamina regenerate 10% quicker. In my opinion, it's not really worth it, but... Just so you know it's there. Now I mentioned earlier that you can become cold and it will reduce your health. Now when you access your armor menu you'll notice that everything has a warmth value next to it. Now that's how susceptible you are to cold. So let's say if I had fur armor on I'd be less susceptible to cold or more susceptible Wow, I'd be less susceptible to cold, my mistake, than if I were to wear my novice robes. Since they have a higher warmth rating, I can go into colder climates without getting cold as quickly. And standing next to a fire will make you get warmer. And it's not really indicating it right now, but it will be on different sides of the compass. So the right side of the compass is warmth, as indicated by a sun, 
and then the left side will be cold as indicated by a snowflake and that will increase or decrease huh? your cold your coldness i guess sure so thing. that will decrease it. your health and your walking speed and I'll movement speed in general right this way. so she's going to show me to my room now and i will show you how you get your magical back actually i'm not going to wait for her that's going to take too long i already know where my room is it's right up here all right good night bye then take a little nap take just a little nappy poo let me know if there's anything else you it's need. not all back yet but if i rest for a little longer i will be fully recovered so that's what survival mode is and that's how you get survival mode so i hope this video showed you both what survival mode is and how to get it if it didn't please leave a comment below and i'll gladly update this video for your purposes i read all the comments so please don't be shy to post something below the video and i hope you guys have a great day i hope you can get this on your console and if you can't again comment below if this video helped you at all at any time or you're just plain old like the way i sound please like this video it means a lot to me because I put a lot of times into my videos. I've already recorded this video 10 times just to make sure it's perfect for you guys. And make sure you subscribe if you like the way I make my videos. Because I have plenty more Skyrim videos where this one came from. If you haven't seen my other videos, check those out too.